this one. I'll fix you right up. I didn't have to do anything, really. Just draw their attention. The one's got corrosive, one's got plasma, which is good. It's a good combo. They can't keep us out. Um. Ellie's got the corrosive, she's got the plasma. Need to get her a fire rate though. The garb on this security guard identifies him as a member of the Rizzo's Corporation. His rank would have been that of Jawbreaker or higher. This security guard has experienced premature expiration. Evidence strongly suggests a conflict with Marauders. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. This card also expired prematurely following a violent encounter with Marauders. At least he gave his life for a worthy cause. Finding a few different things that need 105 hacking now. Might need to start carrying that hacking stuff and uh, I don't know if I have armor for hack. I think I do. Armor and a helmet for hack and then uh, Get some more points in it. That's two consoles here alone, I think. Timeline 
Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Inside the building, we'll go ahead. If no one sees, it's supposed to be science weapon containers, if I paid attention enough, no. Stutters there. Okay, why were there marauders there, but no marauders here? Wonderful customer. Thank you for giving my humble existence value. I can't tell if she's happy or in serious pain. I sure am. Good lamps you got on you to take notice. The hell's that coming out of your neck? Oh, that? I call it my little passenger. I don't know why. The name just appeared in my head when this thing showed up on my neck. Don't you dare! Or I'll cut something off you! Gosh, I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. I just felt this urge to protect my little passenger, even if it means hurting you. I don't know. It just appeared one day. I guess I just picked it up while working in the orchards. Sometimes I wonder how it showed up, and I start to worry. But worrying feels bad, and I hate feeling bad. So I don't worry about it. Couple of days. Ever since it showed up, I've been feeling happier and happier. I really can't imagine life without my little passenger. Now I'd love to get you something, maybe a couple somethings? Whatever you like, I can sell it to you at a low, low price. I'm so glad you asked. The orchards are my third favorite subject, with my first being Rizzo's refreshing drinks and my second being Rizzo's toothsome confectionaries. Our orchards are the source of 63% of Rizzo's total produce, which correlates to 112% of fresh goods throughout all of Halcyon. Give or take a few percent, of course. If you want to know more about each part of the orchards, might I recommend one of our fantastic tours? 
One of our options is even audio guided as a special bonus feature. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. Our tours are my fourth favorite subject. Every part of the orchards is so rich with Rizzo's lore. Buy a tour ticket and anoint yourself with knowledge. Huh? Oh no, Rizzo's doesn't make me recommend the tour. Helping customers just makes me even happier than I already am. And that's saying a lot. Happy workers lead to happy customers. Happy customers are repeat customers. That smell's gonna haunt my nightmares. I'm not quite sure what you mean. There's really nothing better than feeling a euphoric sense of happiness and self-contentment. Now I'd be pleased as punch to sell you a tour ticket. We have three tour options. Premium, Premium Plus, and the Golden Ticket. Each option is wonderful in its own special way. Premium includes a 10-minute pass to the Sprat Petting Zoo. Premium Plus comes with the novelty Purpleberry and Amber. And the Golden Ticket is audio-guided in addition to being self-guided. Which kind would you like? You're in luck. We have one left. Normally, there are a hundred bits, but seeing how I'm sold out of everything else, I can give it to you for just 90. How does that sound? That's great. Thank you so much. No, I'm sorry. The only celebrity who shopped recently is Black Hole Birdie. Quite the affable man, as it so happens. And the stories are wrong. He could probably lift two benches of toss ball players at once, not just one. Laws, not just affable, but virile, too. Ooh, wait a minute. Now that his bow's dead, that means Bertie's single. Maybe I'll strike up a little more than conversation the next time he comes by. Sadness is a big ol' waste of time. Besides, the sooner I start courting him, the sooner we can both be happy! Wow, oh, she's crazy. Our alcohol stocks are larger than ever. And a good thing too, because I just can't seem to stop myself from getting into them. Our products are just that good. Take a hint. Great work. Sure thing. Be right there. She's just very 
I go past. I don't know what that symbol is above her head. Extremely blissful. Are you Phineas's brother? Sorry, can't talk. We're busy having a very tedious conversation. And if sabotaging the orchards weren't enough, you had to make it personal. You really had to bust my Insta coffee maker too? The nerve. Uh, hold that asinine, asinine thought. Who is this armed stranger who just wandered into your office? Back up for a fight you can't finish? What the hell are you talking about? I don't know this, lass. I think it's mightily more likely that she's under your payroll. You'd have burned down what you haven't already. I see. Just a visitor, then. Congratulations, Hathaway. Not everyone's abandoned your orchards. Well, shame that you're trying to change that. Anyway, sorry for the heated reception, stranger. There's just been some trouble here of late. Name's Overseeing Orchardist Hathaway, and I'm in charge of these orchards. Though it seems like certain groups, which will remain unnamed, are trying to change that. Looks like I'm stuck playing the part of customer service rep. Guess it's different from the usual, at least. Uh, something I can do for you? Yeah, just another woe to add to the pile. In the past, the orchard subcontracted security work from Slug. You know, keep the malcontents on staff from causing too much trouble. But between the Spectrum Brown unveiling demanding all of our resources and the recent uptick in worker accidents, we just ain't got the budget for security. And, of course, Slug has decided that instead of being reasonable, they're just gonna sabotage our operations until we start paying them again. Look at the poor Rizzo's manager, lying about sublight to make himself feel better. Shame he skipped where Rizzo's was short on our payments months before the new unveiling. Look, at the end of the day, it's obvious that Slug is sabotaging us. I ain't paying until they come clean. Oh, you know, nothing particularly troublesome. Just rogue exterminator mechanicals, opening fire on anything that twitches within 300 yards of them. We've also got a large group of new saplings, all dead from some kind of toxic substance. Poison, I guess. And who could forget the tower processing console, which probably just shorted out and stopped working on its own, even though it's outfitted with three separate backup systems? There are a suite of explanations for what could have happened, most pointing to Rizzo's worker incompetence. My people didn't sabotage anything. It's the strangest thing. Like everyone forgot their 10-minute workplace safety seminars. That's twice as long as the next leading brand. Our people should be safety experts. But I've seen folks step on open electrical wires, drop pallets on each other, one damn fool even blundered into a wasp keto hive. Even as he died, he looked fairly pleased. Thank the law, some good news. You hear that, lap dog? Truth's coming. Better fess up while you still can outside of an interrogation room. While I'm sure you'd love to have a scapegoat on whom you can pin your own incompetence, I suspect you'll be disappointed. But what do I know? I suppose it's up to your new hiree.
weird that the Ravengers are drinking. These footprints match the shoes previously analyzed in the Grand Ballroom. There is a 110% chance with a 10% margin of error that they were left by Ruth Bellamy, the actress known as Halcyon Helen. You find anything? That's real good work, Captain. You think the killer was chasing Miss Helen through the orchards? Left hands, Cap. No way into this building. Thank you, I hit the button like seven times. I hit the button seven times for her to do that. Start checking crates and stuff in a sec. Lovely weather calls for a harvest, I do believe. Well, hell sweet, hello there, valued visitor. I am sure sorry to break it to you, but our orchards are closed to all officially guided tours at this precise moment in time. I don't know what's wrong with him, but let's keep our distance. Why, thank you! Rizzo's encourages all workers to put on a happy face when engaging with valued customers. 
Rizzo's does beseech you to please purchase one of our self-guided options if you're wishing to join one of our rejuvenative, relaxing, reformatory tours. Now with a Puzzle Hedges trademark maze hunt and special edition taste testing for an extra 35 bits a ticket. An excellent decision you most certainly won't have cause to regret. Now, presently, you're standing smack dab in the pride and joy of Rizzo's nearly natural product development sector. We call this fecund landscape the Purple Berry Orchards, since that's our main crop. But we also sow and grow mock apples, nanners, pea-free nuts, tarmac, and more. Of course, tours of any excess level must be suspended during a scheduled pollinization cycle. Our wasp kiddos are quite territorial and have been known to sting both workers and visitors alike. Pollinization by killer wasp kiddos, indeedy. It's cutting edge Rizzo's technology. But don't you worry, valued visitor. Our pollinization cycles only run when the orchards are empty, for safety reasons. When a pollinization cycle finishes or is aborted, all wasquitos are biologically programmed to return to the hive, their holding pen. Of course, the very last thing Rizzo's would want is a beloved tourist bumbling into the hive and triggering an unscheduled cycle. So you'd best steer clear of it for safety. You'll know the hive by its big, glimmering electric fencing. Yes, indeedy. I've got the wondrous honor of having just been promoted to third keeper of the grounds after the last one disappeared on the job. Gosh, I guess about a week ago now. Before my morning clock in last Sunday, I was but a lowly nanner peeler picker on the line shift. Now I'm responsible for growing every twig and berry on this vast swath of fertile land. Heaven sweet, no. It's not like he was murdered. He simply disappeared without a trace and hasn't been heard from since. And the groundkeeper before that one? Well, she wasn't missing at all. Her body was found near hive control, covered head to toe in thousands of welts. No mystery and certainly no murder with what happened there. I mean, you can't exactly hold some wasp heroes on trial. <laughs> Accidents do happen on the job. Can't speak for others, but I most assuredly don't. I reckon you could talk to my supervisor, the overseeing orchardist. He would know more. I used to ask questions, but gee, I just don't feel the urge to anymore. Gosh, and goody gumdrops, but I could talk about the orchards till my lips fell off. <laughs> Instead, let's talk about whatever interests you, because that's what interests me, too. Why, you say that as if it's a bad thing. I am quite overcome with happiness, indeed. You won't find a Rizzo's worker in all of Eridanos who isn't 100% thrilled in their day-to-day -day existence. It's part of our brand manifesto. Happy workers lead to happy customers. Happy customers are repeat customers. And repeat customers make the charts look better on our weekly profit reports. So if nothing else, it's my responsibility at all times to smile, smile, smile. And you know what never fails to bring a smile to my face? The breathtaking tours we offer throughout the orchards. Seasonally available for purchase in the Nut Hut. Ah, you mean that lovely actor who got herself dead? Damn shame what happened to her. She did come by, but not during any official tour time. I thought she'd hired a private tour at first, but it was Dr. Blossom who was showing her the way to the RR and DD labs.
Can't imagine why she'd need to meet with our head researcher on the Spectrum product line outside of her lab hours. Unless, of course, it had to do with the new product unveiling. That's right, she was. She sure made for some lovely adverts. Maybe it might have involved an issue with the launch batch then? I can't rightly say. All I know is one of our certified tour guides could have given her a much more comprehensive tour of the grounds were that her interest. Can't say that I have. We use bad batches of liquor for our pesticides. Only the exterminator mechanicals are armed around here. And I haven't seen any bloody objects aside from the usual pair of gardening shears. Unless, that is, Miss Helen was also stung to death by pollinization wasquitoes? She wasn't, was she? That would be a mighty wretched way to go. I do hope this pleasant conversation has made me useful to you. Rizzo's likes it when we're useful to customers. And I like anything Rizzo's likes. What kind of investigation? You wouldn't happen to be from the health inspection office, would you? Oh, drat. This distresses me, and I do not like feeling cross. I warned the Orchardist this could happen when we halted our monthly bribe to Slug. They were always a reliable go-between, uh, regarding inspections before now. So, what might you be looking to find out, Ms. Inspector? Did he now? Well, that sounds about right. He has been mightily outspoken in his disdain for Slug in recent months. The overseeing orchardist had the last groundskeeper deliver a contract termination in the place of our regular payment. Rizzo's decided we don't need their services anymore. See, with our new morale-boosting medical treatments, our employees are much more productive. No need for unsightly intimidation tactics. Sorry, I'm not at liberty to say. Trade secrets and all that. You understand, I'm sure. Of course. I can't stop you from poking around, but do be mindful of our pollinization hive. Wasquitoes tend towards aggressive at the best of times. There's a reason why we keep them behind an electric fence, you know. Alright, this dude is just... yeah. Discrepancy detected nearby. Yeah. Miss Reese, I'm happy. 